super like including to everyone, all ages, um, gender, race, everyone is welcome. That's the best part about skateboarding. <laughs> I'm Amelia Brodka and I'm the co-founder of Exposure Skate. We're a 501c3 nonprofit dedicated to empowering women, trans, and non-binary individuals through skateboarding. And I wanted to create an event that would bring all these individuals together to showcase their talents and to do it for a good cause. So to raise money for survivors of domestic violence because the community that we serve is the one that's actually disproportionately affected by the issue of domestic violence. We have people from all over the planet here. They're here from Australia, from Austria, from Scotland, from China, from Japan. And we're skating the Pura Vida Vert competition. They're skating the Woodward Street competition. They're skating our, the Exposure Bowl competition. Our goal is to create an event that is inclusive and that showcases skaters from different walks of life, women, trans, non-binary skaters. And our main motto is community over competition. Exposure represents is a place for them to have a place for them to share their skills, you know, because I've even discovered riders here at at uh, Exposure. Kihana Ogawa was one of them. I was like, who's she sponsored by? Nobody. And I was like, talk to her. And I was like, I love your skateboarding. Would you love to skateboard for Hosoi? She was like, yes. And then the rest is history. I'm Lizzie Armanto. I'm a professional skateboarder and I'm from Santa Monica, California. People from all over the world come to this event. This is the biggest women's event in skateboarding, in my opinion. If you want to try out skating, you should definitely do it. Uh, like it's one of those things that, you know, you're going to take a couple falls and the one of the keys to longevity is learning how to fall. And you just got to go for it and don't listen to anyone who's like going to tell you otherwise because in the end, like, you know your body the best and I don't know, like we all have to start somewhere and we all have to learn. Hi, my name is Ruby Lily and I'm skating in the Open Pro Bowl today at Exposure Skate. Even though skateboarding is like now considered a sport, I still feel like it's a lifestyle and art and like culture. I feel like we're all like no one has to follow rules or like abide by certain things. We're all just like having fun and doing our own thing and you know it's like we're all like kind of painting our own picture. You know like nothing is like needs to be a certain way. We're all just like doing it our own way and it's super like including to everyone, all ages, um, gender, race, everyone is welcome. That's the best part about skateboarding. My name is Bree. I use she, they pronouns and I am the program coordinator with Turnout. My name is Rowan, I use they, them pronouns, and I'm the training and consulting coordinator at Turnout. Turnout is a California-based nonprofit. We started in the Bay Area, but has since expanded down to Southern California. So we're super excited to be in the San Diego area. And our mission is mobilizing communities to power queer and trans movements. So the way that we do that is for events like Exposure Skate, we are managing the volunteers. So we recruited them from various locations, had them on site where we're managing their experience and training them so that they have a safe and fun volunteering experience. Yeah, we also offer some other uh, special programs, trainings, things like that. You know, we found through doing volunteer management that sometimes these nonprofits don't have the education that they need or that they want to be supportive to LGBTQ communities. So we have some trainings that we offer them as well, like querying understandings of gender, um, sexual harassment for LGBT folks in the workplace and things like that to make sure that, you know, when people do come out to work with these nonprofits and at these queer and trans events that uh, there are staff and people who are educated and trained on how to ensure that they're, they're safe and comfortable.